What's going on, everyone? My name is Marcus James. Uh, I'm 25. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. IP National coming out there. Hey, everyone. This is Monique Monell, Brooklyn Mose. Hi, guys. My name is Dede. Hi. I'm Daniel. I use they, them pronouns. I'm a trans, queer, non-binary human person. This is my coming out story, which I kind of never told before, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, the end of high school, like my senior year, like for sure, absolutely, definitely, positively gay, for sure. Yeah, I was really lucky to have like a GSA, like a Gay Straight Alliance at my school. That helped me kind of like find myself, find people like me, essentially like feel at home, even though it was really hard to still be gay in 2013 and a very like homophobic school. And then I think I had to also do that twice. <laughs> I came out twice because in college, um, I actually ended up transitioning. I, you know, texted my aunt, texted my family, everybody who raised me, and I just found this like long paragraph, like, this is who I am, this is what's going on, this is what you have to call me, could use these pronouns. And I thought it was gonna be super hard and I was gonna get shunned and nobody was gonna love me anymore. And I mean, they asked me a few questions and you know, some family members weren't able to adjust and that was okay, I had to let them go. And here I am today, eight years later, super happy, super full of life, um, doing, some of the biggest things I never thought I'd be doing. And I can't wait for all the things to come. And if I never came out, I would have never been able to do those things. I came out in April 2011 to my parents and it was really random and unplanned. I had told my friends the night before at a party that I was gay and thought that I needed to tell my parents the next day. Although that was just my 18 year old brain talking. I didn't need to tell anyone anything. So keep that in mind that you don't have to come out you can just exist who you are and let them do the talking for you. But I did do a formal coming out with my parents and they were very accepting, thankfully, and are still accepting of me to this day. And I know that not everyone has that and I'm very lucky and very grateful. And also very grateful to have a great network of queer friends and coworkers that make existing in the world as an LGBTQIA plus person a little bit easier. It is coming out day. All I want to say is, I came out when I was 19, 25, and 31. 42 now. <laughs> so understand that each day we evolve into our newer selves. Also understand that we come out to our family, to our friends, and many others. I came out when I was about 18. I always knew I was gay. I always knew I was different. As far as I can remember, back when I was like even seven or eight, I knew that I had a different kind of attraction. I was different. Uh, so when I came out though, it was very difficult because I was raised around a very hyper masculine father. So it was a very um, hard experience for me. And you know, when I came out, my dad was not at all receptive of it. Uh, my mother was, but my father wasn't. And, uh, and that kind of really put a dent, a huge dent in our relationship. I got depressed about it. I kind of started drinking real heavy and I was down. But now that I'm out, I feel so much good, better about myself because I'm able to like live in my truth and be me. And that's the most important thing. You have to live for you. When I think about coming out and my coming out journey, it has been exactly that. It's been a journey and a process and ongoing conversation, really. When I recall some pivotal moments in my in my process or the, the moments that kind of brought me here and allowed me to arrive in this moment fully expressed in who I am, I'm reminded of all of the different moments of coming out and how I've come out as so many different variations of myself. And each time has looked different, but I think the thing that has offered me the most liberation in this existence is allowing these conversations to be just that, to be conversations, to not lend them so much weight that makes it really heavy and really intense to come out. I'm reminded of the time that I came out as trans, right? I remember being on the phone with my family and I just started talking about top surgery. Didn't really say anything else, I just started talking about it. And they, of course, had questions and I uh, inquired a little bit and, and kind of the overarching theme of that conversation was, what does this mean? And what I said in that moment offered me permission to explore. What I said was, I don't really know what this means. I don't have the language for it yet and I don't fully understand yet. But what I do know is that I need to do this in order to live as the most fully expressed and authentic version of myself. And that was enough. 
that was enough for them, that was enough for me. And since that moment, I've continuously given myself the permission to show up in that way. To know that labels don't need to be concrete or absolute. They can be shifting, they can be ever growing and ever changing. And I think that that has offered me the most freedom in my expression. To anybody who's hearing this story, I love you, I care for you, and I hope that you come out whenever you need to. And just know that there's a community of people who will accept you and bring you in with loving and open arms and guide you through your journey. And don't wait, don't wait. So just know that as you get older, hopefully you will find people that you can connect with that make everything a little bit less difficult. Just know that you're not alone, that you're loved, no matter who you love, that's what matters. To those who have not come out, I want you to know it's okay, okay? Your safety comes first, always remember that. And when you do come out, you have a community here with open arms and people here to understand you. So remember, who you are, you have a purpose in this world. To all of you that are out and loud and proud in your existence, thank you for sharing your authentic hearts with us. Thank you for showing up in that way. And to those of you that are unable to be for whatever reason, whether it be safety or otherwise, know that you are seen, you are valid in who you are, you are loved and you are supported. And when you are ready, we are here, you have a community behind you with open arms waiting to embrace you. Happy National Coming Out Day. I see ya.